Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I was gonna do this video like vlog style. I don't really know what this video is gonna turn into. This is gonna be a casual talking, hanging out video. I'm gonna be packing my book wall. I know, I know. It is truly the end of an era. By era, I mean the past five months that I've had this book wall. I set it up in August. August, September, October, November, September. Yeah, five months. I'm moving out of this apartment and it's time for the books to go. My books will be at my parents' house for the next six to eight months. I can't bring them with me while I'm studying abroad for obvious reasons. I'll probably bring a few, but books are heavy, so can't bring too many. I have no idea how I'm gonna pack these. I think I'm just gonna do it quite randomly. Probably time lapse it, talk to you guys as I do it. I'm putting them in like bins, which is how I moved them into this apartment. But now it's officially time to deconstruct the wall. It's just so nice, like my bed is right there and I wake up every morning and I see this. And it's just a beautiful sight. I can't wait until I'll be reunited with my books, but until then they will be sitting in my childhood bedroom probably. I'm trying to think of a strategic way to do this and I don't think there is one besides just like pulling books off the top, but I wanna make a TikTok of this and I have an idea in mind where I have to like kind of take the stacks apart and I'm gonna make a bunch of little stacks because I want to be able to make a TikTok where I'm like in the middle of all of them so I'm gonna make a bunch of stacks that are like this tall like these ones that are along the side guys I spilled hot chocolate on my books no my meter's up okay I need to move my car <laughs> Okay, I moved my car so I won't get a ticket. And now I'm going to adjust the books, like I said, for my TikTok. I just wanted to show you that I'm doing this because I didn't want you to, when I come back, to actually pack the books, be like, why did she rearrange all of them? I'm rearranging them to make a TikTok. Go follow me on TikTok if you want to see what it is. But I'm going to do this real quick and then I'm going to come back and start packing and talking to you guys. Look at this. This is my setup for my TikTok. Oh, it's so dark because it's backlit. But uh, when I put it like this, I actually look like a book hoarder. Oh my god. I like these two big bins I'm gonna start packing into. It's just me and there's only so much I can carry at a time. So I think that might be all I'm gonna be able to do right now. I really don't know how to show you this. I'm also gonna be telling you and like showing what books I'm bringing with me even though there's probably not gonna be a lot because like I said, I can't bring a lot. But this is the bin, the first bin start loading things into. How can I show you this? I'm putting all the books that I have read like that I don't plan on bringing with me, obviously, because I've read them in here. And no, I'm not organizing them. They're just gonna go in here. Oh my God, should I bring normal people with me even though I've already read it? I'll think about it. <laughs> I love it too much. I have like an emotional connection to it and I imagine myself like going to Ireland and bringing it with me. Like it's like a person visiting its hometown. <laughs> no, because should I bring this with me? Why do I want to bring all my favorite books with me? Like, that's just not healthy. This bin is officially packed. I need to close it up. It's literally gonna be like one million pounds. I have a dolly to put the pin on. Oh my God! <laughs> it's literally 100 pounds. Here's the next bin we're gonna load up. It's gonna be like Christmas when I move back to America and open all my book bins. I'll definitely do a video on that when the time comes. This bin all packed up. I haven't even made a dent into my stuff, I feel like. How is there still so many books left? This is heavier than whatever I weigh because I just tried to pull it and my... <laughs> this is funny. Watch me try to pull this. It literally just pulls my... pulls me. <laughs> Set. <laughs> Fuck. How much do you think this weighs? I'm gonna have to push it. I can't even push it. Oh God. I need to get these onto the dolly. I'll keep you updated on the experience. I feel like it's not gonna go well. Cart is right here. Slide. <laughs> okay, <laughs> maybe not. I swear it used to be strong. Like, I don't know where my strength has gone. Like, this is just 100 pounds. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh God, I can't even lift it. Oh my God, oh my God. I think if this fell on my toe, it would actually amputate it. Okay, that was not bad. Should I do one at a time? No, that's annoying. 
How do I lift that one though? Do you think I could? <gasps> there's no chance. Okay, there's literally no chance that I could lift that bin. It's literally one million pounds. So I'm gonna go roll this one down to my car, come back, roll that one down to my car, come back. As it turns out, it's physically impossible for me to move these boxes. I just went all the way down to my car <laughs> with the bin and tried to lift it and put it in my car. It was actually physically impossible. I think I almost threw out my back, got a hernia, passed out and died. I think I had a little bit too much faith in myself. So that's not gonna happen. I'm just gonna load up all these bins, I guess, and then leave them here so someone stronger than me can help. Okay, I'm gonna load up this one, it's a little smaller. Guys, I'm literally out of breath still. <laughs> I'm literally like breathing so heavy as I do this. That journey was treacherous. a day and then I'm gonna tell you all the books I'm bringing with me okay so I actually built this tiny little box because I'm going to put Harry Potter series in this because it's actually like I share it with my whole family so they're not just mine so I'm bringing these to my parents house them on the shelf in our house because I kind of stole them for the whole year and then I'm also gonna put the Bridgerton books in there because I feel like my mom would want to read them so I'm gonna bring them to my parents house as well then I have like this medium sized box I'm putting my addicted series books in here these are very important I need to make sure I know exactly where they are I'm actually protect these like with my life like they're in such good condition they will remain that way but I'm also going to put in here my book of the month books all the books are packed besides the ones I'm keeping with me this is probably the moment you've been waiting for where I'm going to tell you all the books that I'm bringing with me to England <laughs> I think there's way too many okay the thing is today is December 27th I leave January 9th so I still have two weeks and I'm quarantining like the rest of my time here. I'm gonna be alone starting tomorrow just to make sure I don't get COVID and not be able to go because that would really suck. I'm staying inside and I was thinking like I'm gonna be doing a lot of reading if I'm in here by myself. So these are the books I'm planning on reading like during my quarantine, hopefully. Don't quote me on this. The first one, Verity by Colleen Hoover. Doing a reading vlog for it, so. And then I'm thinking I'll read the Ravenhood trilogy. And then what I'm planning on bringing it to England. Let's get into this. Ignore the Shadow and Bone books that you can see in this clip. I just realized that I forgot to pack those. So that's why those are in those stacks. Don't get all excited. I can't bring all of those with me, unfortunately. But I just realized that they were like pushed to the side because I was thinking about it because I wanted to do a reading vlog for them. And then I realized I forgot to pack them. So I had them stacked up. And then I realized you guys are going to see that and be like, oh my gosh, she didn't talk about it. But yeah, that's why they're there. Sorry to disappoint. Malibu Rising by Taylor Jenkins Reid. Okay, I'm bringing a lot of like books that I wouldn't normally read and I've been on like a kick of these types of books, like Taylor Jenkins Reid books, which I have another one. Also, One True Love, so I'm gonna bring as well. I've been into like this type of book recently. I'm gonna bring Where the Crawdads Sing. I'm bringing Beautiful World, Where Are You? Sally Rooney's new release. The Way I Used to Be, heard this one is really good, like meaningful. I think I just only kept the meaningful books. I have Call Me By Your Name simply because I read it in high school, just like normal people. I always say this, I read it, but I didn't pay attention. I read like a chapter a month until I was done and never really knew what was going on. So I actually want to read this, so I'm gonna bring that. Then I have My Policeman, he has a Harry Styles movie, and I heard it's a good book. History is All You Left Me, also heard this one was meaningful. The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue because I've been putting off reading it and I'm basically forcing myself to read it by bringing it. They both die at the end. I don't know why I haven't read this yet. I'm bringing like the books that everyone's already read and I haven't just to force myself to read them literally. And then Before We Were Strangers, I don't know if I've ever heard anyone talk about this, but this has been something I've been wanting to read for so long. So The Mountain Is You, I've already read it, but I wanna bring it with me. And I think this is something that is very important for me to look back on and I want to tab things. It's literally like advice to myself because it's about self-sabotage and I need this so bad. It like eases my anxiety, so. 
Okay, now these are rereads, books I probably shouldn't bring, but I need to. Normal people. The Saga of Achilles. I'm gonna miss my other books so much. They're all stacked up. But at least when I come back, I have like a whole library waiting for me to set up in my new place, wherever I end up. You guys will get to see me unbox it again. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing me pack. I'm tired. Glad I'm done doing that. That's my update with all my books. That's the end of today's video. If you want to follow me on my other social medias, keep up with my travels, keep up with what I'm reading. They're all linked down below as always. And I'll see you in my next video very, very soon. Bye.